Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and we're going to be running a test today. We have a 6 watt solar panel hooked up and it is powering that light right now. The light's off because there's a cloud over us, but once the cloud clears you'll see that light come on. That's a 5 watt bulb down there so it pretty much maxes a solar panel out. We have a voltage meter hooked up to it and when the solar panel is running at full capacity it's capable of producing volts in excess of what it needs for the light. So as the sun comes out it goes up to about 9 volts. We have a large Fresnel lens here and we're going to be putting this Fresnel lens over this. We're going to see if increasing the sunlight increases the power output of this solar panel. Now I'm not going to be doing it at the exact spot because it will obviously destroy the solar panel. So we're going to be putting it at a very short focal length. We're just going to be trying to almost double the light reaching the solar panel and see how it affects that bulb and how it affects that meter. Right now we just have the solar panel hooked up and that's the brightness of the bulb and that's the volts that the meter's reading added on to this. Now if I remove the bulb, you can see that the volts jump up to 21. So I'm going to put the load back on it and we drop back down to 10. Now there's the bulb. Now we're going to put the Fresnel lens over the solar panel. This is with the Fresnel lens focused over the solar panel. I'm going to intensify it a little bit, a little bit more. Now I'm going to remove the Fresnel lens. I'm going to put the Fresnel lens back on. So you can see that's a pretty significant difference. One thing you want to keep in mind when doing this is that these solar panels reach about 140 degrees naturally just being out in the sun. When you add a Fresnel lens to it at a shorter focal length like that, the temperature jumps up to around 150, 155 degrees. So to utilize this, there would have to be a way to cool this solar panel down and that's not that hard to do. There's several ways of doing it. Another thing you want to keep in mind is you don't want to overdo the output of this solar panel or you could damage the wiring in it. But this does definitely work. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a mirror and see how that affects the process. That is with one mirror. Alright, we're going to go back at it with the Fresnel lens one more time. I'm going to put my hand over it and show you how it drops. That's me blocking it with my hand. Now I'm going to put the Fresnel lens back over it. Now I'm going to remove the Fresnel lens. Fresnel lens back on. Fresnel lens off. So this is one way that you can increase the output of any solar panel. Again, you want to be careful not to overdo it because you can definitely damage these, but there's a fine line that can be drawn. Also, um, it's a good idea to start researching ways of keeping these cooler because these operate more efficiently when they're cooler. So a combination of this with the cooling system could produce some pretty interesting results. I'm your host Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.